Inducted. Joining me now, 1972 inductee Jim Maloney. 134 wins. Most strikeouts as a Reds pitcher. I think most no-hitters as a Reds pitcher as well, right? Well, actually, they say three no-hitters. It says that on my plaque, but really, uh, they took one of them away that I pitched 10 innings and a uh, guy hit a home run off me in the 11th inning. So a long time it was counted as a three, uh, uh, one of the, th the no-hitters that I threw. And uh, then they had a deal when about Maris's uh, 61 home runs, they put an asterisk. And so because it was 162 games instead of 154. So they took my no-hitter off the board. They had a lot of guys pitch no hitters for five or six innings in the game. <laughs> they took them off too. So. It's amazing, Jim. I, you've got to tell the story that we were just talking about. About you know, and obviously every decade says, "Boy, I wish I played them because of the money those guys make." But you will not believe this story that Jim and I were just talking about. Tell them about the year that you were 12 and five, and what happened when you went in to see Bob Housem. Yeah, I was uh, uh, 12 and five. I had the lowest earned run average on the team. It was 1969. And uh, so I drove down to Tampa and uh, went in to see Housen you know, about my contract. And uh, he uh, offered me a, a contract with $2,000 cut in it. Less than what you made the year before? $2,000 less. Right. Yeah. So I said, I, well, I'm not going to sign for that. And I, so I said, well, okay. And they had all these names up on the board and, uh, you know, our roster. And I says, well, I'm, I'm getting out of here. He says, okay, go ahead. And uh, he had a little office there in Al Lopez Field. So he looked around and he had my, all the pitchers' names were up on the head. His little uh, metal deals, they hooked him on a deal. He reached up and grabbed my name and crumbled it and threw it in the, ash, in the trash can. And it, I walked out with my tail between my legs, you know. I mean, it was. Uh, Did you sign? I signed later on, and I uh, ended up, believe it or not, taking a $2,000 cut. That is unbelievable. Hey, you've been coming back here a lot. You do fantasy camps, so you get to see a lot of the guys. But how much fun is this to come back every year uh, on this induction weekend? Well, you know, it's uh, it's uh, wonderful, you know, because there's really no opportunity all year long or dur during your own regular lifetime that uh, you're going to see uh, guys that you played with and uh, the guys that were on the Reds that came after me, and uh, we've all become friends. It's a big family, and uh, there's a lot of lives, too, going on, and uh, <laughs> which is uh, part of the deal anyway. But uh, the Reds do a wonderful job. Uh, their Hall of Fame is uh, just unbelievable, and uh, Bob Castellini and his family, they uh, have done this, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful. I just uh, I feel that... Uh, I, I pull for the Reds and Bob Castellini because he's a guy that really uh, deserves a championship team. Well, you're one guy who, who actually knows pretty well one of the people going in. That's Dave Bristol. He was actually a coach when you were playing, right? Right. Started as a coach, and then we had a guy named Don Hefner was the manager. They fired him early in the season, and they put Bristol in there. And he'd come up through the Reds organization. He worked, you know, so he had Helms and Rose and those guys when they came, when they come through the minor leagues. And uh, he's, he was a great manager. I mean, I played for Hutch. Hutch was a wonderful manager. Then Bristol. And, uh, you know, he, was, uh, he wasn't a guy that was afraid to confront you, you know. I see these guys today. I don't know. They don't back up a base. They don't run balls out. I don't know if they, anybody says anything to them or not. Well, you know, Jim, you, you, everyone gives Sparky a lot of credit, obviously, as the manager of the Big Red Machine. But Dave really set the groundwork for that, didn't he? Who's that? Bristol. Yeah, he, uh, and that's what Hutch was, too. Sure. And not only that, if you had, uh, like, Frank Robinson, you know, if some player didn't run a, a ball out the first, a young guy, he'd, he'd grab him and say, hey, we don't do it that way here. You know, it's all out. This is an all-out league. 